Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on Key Stage 5, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. Now this is going to be very similar to the video I did for uh, GCSE. Um, the only new thing here is that we're going to be using uh, this new A-level equation that we have, y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So let's just recap what we know about parallel and perpendicular lines in terms of straight line equations. If you have two lines which are parallel, in terms of straight line equations, what property do they share? Well, they have the same gradient. So if this gradient, for example, was two, then that gradient would also be two. So parallel lines, the two gradients, let's call those M1 and M2, the two gradients will be equal. But if we have perpendicular lines, then if this gradient was, say, two, then what would be the other gradient? Well, we saw in that GCC video that the gradient would be the negative reciprocal. So what I mean by the negative is you negate this, so it's going to be minus if it was positive before, and the reciprocal just means 1 over, so it'll be minus 1 over 2. And the key property here is that the two gradients will multiply to give minus one. And that's particularly useful if you want to show that two lines are perpendicular. You just show that when you multiply the two gradients together, you get minus one. But you're probably used to seeing it that if you have one gradient, you do the negative reciprocal of the other to get it, which is just a rearrangement of this. So for example, if you've got perpendicular lines, if one gradient was three, then the negative reciprocal of that would be minus a third. If I had a gradient of minus 4, then the negative reciprocal, where I negate it to become positive 4, and I reciprocate it, it becomes 1 over 4. If I had a gradient of uh, minus uh, a third, then I do the negative reciprocal, negate it, it becomes positive, and the reciprocal of a third, the 1 over 3 flips to become 3 over 1, which is just 3. And if I had a fraction, say, I don't know, 4 fifths, the negative reciprocal, well, I negate it, becomes negative, and then you flip it over when you do 1 over it, and it becomes 5 over 4. So that's how it works. So let's use what we know on these questions here. A line goes through the point 4, 7, and is parallel to another line with the equation y plus 3x equals 4. Determine the equation of this line. Well, let's first find the gradient of this line. If we've got y plus 3x equals 4, to find the gradient of that, remember from the previous video, we just make y the subject. So if we subtract 3x from both sides, we get this. And then because y equals mx plus c, this is the gradient here of minus 3. So the gradient is minus 3. So if we're parallel to this line, we saw here that they have to have the same gradient. So that means the gradient of the other line that we're trying to find the equation for will also be minus 3. But we know it passes through the point 4, 7. So it has this gradient and it passes through the point 4, 7. If we've got a fixed point and a gradient, do you remember we can use this key equation here? And just a reminder that x1, y1 is some fixed point on the line. So this is our x1, y1 here. And the m is this gradient here. So if we just substitute into that equation, we get y minus, remember y is still a variable, y minus y1, which is the 7, equals the m, which is minus 3, and then x minus x1, x minus 4, and we get that. And it doesn't ask for the equation in a particular form, so I'm just going to leave it unsimplified like that. And then what about question 2? The line goes through the point 4, 7, and is perpendicular to another line with the equation y equals 2x plus 2. Well, if the gradient of this line is 2, then the perpendicular line would be the negative reciprocal of that gradient, so our gradient is going to be the negative reciprocal of 2, which is minus half. And then determine the equation of this line in the form ax plus py equals c equals 0, where a, b, and c are integers. So again, we can use the y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So this is your x1 and your y1. So y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, and we have this. We want it in this form, so we don't want any fractions here. We don't want that over 2, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So the minus half just becomes minus 1, and this x minus 4 remains as it is. Then if I just expand that out, I get this. And then I tend to put the x on the side where it's positive, so I'm going to move everything to the left-hand side. I get positive x plus 2y, and then if I move that 4 over by subtracting, I get minus 18 equals 0. So that is the answer. 
And then finally, this question here, we've got two perpendicular intersecting lines here. Find the coordinates of A. And I should point out this line here goes through the origin. Let's just quickly copy it out. So if the equation of this line is y equals minus half x plus 4, its gradient is minus half. Now, if these two lines are perpendicular, then this gradient here will be the negative reciprocal of minus half. So the negative reciprocal of minus half is 2. And because it goes through the origin, the y-intercept is 0. So that means this line has the equation y equals 2x plus 0, or just y equals 2x. And you remember from the previous video, to find the point of intersection of two lines, we just solve the equation simultaneously. So one equation is y equals 2x, this one, and the equation of this line is y equals minus half x plus 4. Now, because we've got y equals 2x and y equals minus half x plus 4, we can just equate those right-hand sides. So we get 2x is equal to minus half x plus 4. I'm going to double both sides so I don't have fractions. Add the x, I get 5x equals 4. And that means x is 4 fifths. And then we can sub that into either of these equations, but it's easier to sub into the first one. y is double what x is, so y is double that x, which is 8 fifths. And there we go, we've got the coordinate of our point of intersection. The x value is 4 fifths, and the y value is 8 fifths.